What moment brought me to the movement, you ask? So when I was in college, like most college students, I was struggling and I came across someone who was um, advocating about food stamps and I didn't think I would qualify, but I did. So at that time, the requirements were working 20 hours a week and being a full time student. But something to be mindful of is that not all college students have the capacity to work. Therefore, they won't be eligible for food stamps. And you know, this really opened my eyes to see how many resources were out there for people who look like me, for black and brown students, for people who were just experiencing hardship while also being full-time students. And you know, my college experience was where I started to really engage in the public form of spoken word poetry and creative storytelling on a platform. And that's kind of where I found that creative voice that would then accompany what I was already doing, which was writing poetry. And um, that's when I realized I have the power to shape and shift and amplify narratives. So in December 2020, Congress expanded the um, program's eligibility requirements, which really opened the door for 3 million students to be able to receive benefits. Food insecurity is real, and studies are showing that um, food insecurity is highest amongst Gen Z now, which is those college age students of today. And we also have to remember that, you know, hunger is not the only need that college students have. They need housing, they need transportation, they need childcare, they need um, access to mental health care. And, you know, I think it's all symbolic, you know, uh, me being in college, the same place where I found my um, artistic spoken word voice, and also me being in college where I found out about safety net programs and resources available to college students like food stamps. Um, I think it's all symbolic of showing that, you know, what the community does for me when they elect officials who prioritize safety net programs in, in allowing me to be fed allows me to then return to them in this poetic nourishment. It's reciprocity at that point. And you know, in the same way I was in college hungry for food, I have a hunger to create. And that's what community is about. Community is about um, being there for each other, providing for each other in the ways in which you have been gifted. So yeah, that's why I do advocacy, the merging of art and advocacy work. And this is the moment that brought me to the movement.